On this diagram, all steps of an ILS approach are shown. The flight zoomer autopilot modes are implemented using the guided arducopter mode. Using the flight zoomer autopilot, the downwind is flown with the track over ground mode and the altitude hold mode. By dialing in a new target course, the turn into base is initiated. At this point typically also the speed is reduced in order to get a stabilized approach. While approaching the extended runway center line, the approach mode is armed with the app button on the mode control panel. When crossing the runway center line, the autopilot automatically captures the ILS localizer and the approach mode changes from armed to activated. Typically at this point, the copter is still below the glide slope, so the glide slope is finally intersected after continued flight for a while at constant altitude. The new implementation of the final approach for copter then works as follows. At first, the copter will stay in guided mode and will descend on the glide slope towards the runway. When 7 meters above ground will be reached, the descend will stop and the copter will continue in level flight until the begin of the runway is reached. At that point, forward speed will be cut to zero, and the ARDUPILOT land mode will automatically be activated. In land mode the copter will then simply perform a straight down descend until touchdown. Here we see the FlightZoomer cockpit app as it was recorded during the actual flight. The copter is flying the downwind with course 20 and an altitude of 460 using the track over ground mode and the altitude hold mode. Next follows the turn into base at 270 degrees. The target speed has already been reduced to 25 km per hour so the next step is arming the approach mode. There is no further manual step needed until touchdown so we can monitor how the copter is approaching the extended runway center line. The intercepting is timed automatically to end up on the localizer after the turn. On the primary display the magenta indicators show the lateral deviation from the localizer and the vertical deviation from the glide slope. We are intercepting the glide slope now and the final descend begins. At 7 meters above ground, the copter will stop descending and just continue in level flight until the runway threshold, as it was defined in the navigation database. When the runway threshold is reached, the ARDUCOPTER land mode is activated and the last straight down descend begins. Manual correction with the RC transmitter to adjust the touchdown spot is still possible. Next follows the recording of the same ILS approach from the onboard camera in full length. After that another two uncommented recordings of final approaches and landings are shown.